This was the phone that received that first text in 1992. Neil Papworth sent it. He now lives in Montreal. And tonight he texted us to say that he feels the legacy of texting is quick and direct communication right from your pocket. Email existed 25 years ago, but from your PC, not from your phone. Today it's estimated every second of each day, 300,000 texts are sent around the world. And while there's no statistic on how important these messages are, people sometimes seem willing to risk their lives to read them. And the texts sure have changed our lives. Do you remember like calling a girl's house in high school and being like, oh my gosh, I hope her dad doesn't pick yeah, up? Exactly. But now you just text not people, so yeah, anymore. totally not, completely different. Or just showing up to people's houses and just knocking on the door and seeing if they're there. Yeah, Again, exactly. completely different world now. We just always contact each other by text. Yeah, yeah. yeah. where are you or... No, a phone call is too much effort. You know, you have to like talk. You know, you can just write one message and you can ignore a message as well. It's made things easier to, to communicate with people, but it's taken away that personality, that personal touch. It's made the world even smaller. Um, I can text anyone I want at any time. My brother lives in Dubai. I can text him at any point and just have like an actual conversation with him. Nobody texts me. Nobody ever texts me. It's actually quite sad. They all text their mother. I think they love her more. I, 